students this is mock test based on crop production very important uh, mock test because in many examinations questions related to crop cultivations are asked so here question number 1 is termite attacks in planted sugar cane sets it means sugar cane is planted in the field then termite attack at node internode cut end or upper surface of set so this is the sugar cane set and these are the cut end and this cut ends are exposed so there is easy target for the termite for attack so cut ends are more prone for the attack of termite then red rot disease in sugar cane this is very common disease and it is very difficult to control and spread by set to set and it is caused by fungus colato trichum falcatum colato trichum falcatum is the fungus which is responsible for this disease so remember the name colato trichum so this is very common disease in sugar cane which species of cotton has maximum production in the world so here question is asked about world so this is hirsutum gossypium hirsutum it is known as american cotton and barbadens is known as sea island or egyptian cotton so remember these names may be asked in examination arborium is indian cotton and herbaceum is desi cotton so these are four species of gossypium cotton bt cotton bacillus thuringiensis very famous very popular was first approved for field trial so it was approved in usa for field trial bricks of sugar cane juice bricks indicate tss total soluble solute and it is is determined by refractive index principle so this is very important refractive index used for determination of total soluble solids within a legume root nodule nitrogen gas from the atmosphere is converted into so in the nodule bacteria derive nitrogen from air and they convert this into ammonia and then ammonia go for further metabolic reaction and converted into different types of amino acids so a correct answer is ammonia so nitrogen gas first converted into ammonia then into amino acids Uganda grass is Uganda grass is Napier grass and this is also known as elephant grass so elephant grass Napier grass Uganda grass are same in production of triticale pollen donor is so triticale is man made cereal this triticale is man made cereal may be asked in any examination it is not natural cereal it is a grass type plant and it is developed by cross between wheat and rye this is triticum species triticum and this is a annual grass uh, annual grass sickle s e c a l e sickle cereal so this is the uh, female and this is male so pollen donor is rye so sickle cereal is s e r a l e so that's why its name is triticale this tree tri from triticum and kale this uh, triticale triti for 
triticum and kale from sickle. So, triticale. So, now pollen donor is male. So, this is the cross between wheat and rye. So, here the correct answer is rye. So, this triticale is very important. Many questions are asked from this crop. In comparison to 6 row barley, 2 row barley has, so in case of 2 row barley, protein content is low and fermentable sugars are more. So that is why it is very good for preparation of malt. For the malt preparation, protein content should be low. So it has low protein content and high fermentable sugar content. The most critical stage for irrigation in maize, it is tasseling to silking stage. Actually, this is flowering stage. And tasseling to silking stage, in tasseling and silking, there is a difference of about three to four days. So, if we talk about a single stage, then it is silking stage, otherwise, tasseling to silking stage, followed by knee high stage. Engineering C4 photosynthesis is taking place into. So, research is going on uh, the deployment of rice physiology as a C4. Rice has physiology as a C3, but uh, efforts are going to develop into C4 so that its productivity may be increased. So, this is taking place, efforts are going on on rice to develop its physiology into C4. Then glutinous rice is, this is glutinous is sticky rice, sticky rice is rich in amylose, amylopectin. So, starch is composed of amylose and amylopectin. When amylopectin is more, then it becomes sticky. So, it is known as glutinous rice. So, it is rich in amylopectin. Hybrid wheat is a cross between so, wheat is self pollinated crop and in case of self pollinated pure lines are used and in case of inbred, inbred lines are used in cross pollinated crop like uh, mage, but in self pollinated pure lines are used. So, here correct answer is two pure line. Largest producer of pearl millet in world is India. This is drought tolerant crop, palmillet, bajra. Queen of pulses is, queen of pulses is P, while king of pulses is chickpea. So, such type of questions are asked, king and queen. So, queen is P in pulses and king is chickpea. And in case of cereal, if we talk about cereals, so king is, king of cereal is wheat and queen is considered mage. And in case of oil seeds, oil seeds, king is groundnut. So, remember this name, groundnut and queen is C same, this crop, C same. Til, also known as Til in Hindi. So, these are king and queens of cereal, pulses, and oil seeds. And inflorescence of C same is called cymos. They are different type of uh, inflorescence and their name are different. And C same inflorescence is known as cymos. The origin place of pigeon pea, Arhar, and origin place is India. Then, according to the international standard for canola quality oil, canola is a different type of oil, it should contain less than uracic acid in its as, uh, fatty acid profile. So, uracic acid is an anti quality constant and its content should not be more than or we can say it content should be less than 2 percent. 
if it content is more than 2 percent then it is not considered as canola oil. Early sowing of chickpea, chickpea Bengal gram or in Hindi it is known as chana results in, so if there is an early sowing then temperature uh, because this crop is grown in Ravi season if it is sown early then temperature will remain high. So there will be excessive vegetative growth and because of excessive vegetative growth and owing to indeterminate nature the pot deployment will be very poor, so poor setting and the crop is exposed for longer period in field and in early sowing there is more incidence of build. So all these three phenomena occur so answer is all of these. Rangan method of planting is used, so this is a method where in field sugar cane por top portion is cut then lateral buds emerge and develop into shoots and then these shoots are used for planting this is known as Rangan method and practiced in sugar cane crop. New leaf is genetically modified potato it is Bt bacillus thuringiensis and it is resistant to potato leaf rolling virus. Potato leaf rolling virus known as PLRB. So this is uh, Bt potato name is new leaf. Anti quality factor in sorghum actually this anti quality factor is in fodder sorghum and forage crops have some anti quality constituents and in sorghum it, it is SCN and SCN is also known as prusic acid. Prusic acid it is hydrocyanic acid deadly poison and its content more than 200 ppm is toxic. So sometimes this range is asked so more than 200 ppm is lethal and nitrates are anti quality constraints in oats, oxalic acids in permillate these are another anti quality constraints. Causal organ of ticker disease this is very common question and uh, asked in many examination and this causal organ is a fungus and this is a sarcospora archeticola. So fungus this cause ticca disease in groundnut sarcospora archeticola. Detasseling is must in. So first uh, know what is detasseling suppose it is mage plant and tassel uh, come on to the top and this tassel uh, bear pollen and there is a cob deployment at the lower node the, these are the leaves and at the lower node this is the cob deployment and this pollen then come at the cob by air and then fertilize the cob and there is a green deployment. So this process is essential for the deployment of cob and grain but in case of baby corn grains are not required the as the cob emerge so after the emergence of 2 to 3 days the cobs are harvested and unfertilized ovules are there so cobs are unfertilized so these cobs are harvested after 2 to 3 days of their appearance that's why it is known as baby 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 corn so this operation is done in uh, baby corn and tassel is removed, tassel is removed otherwise there may be pollen and then they cause fertilization of cob and quality is deteriorated. So to avoid the fertilization tassel is removed and this process is done in baby corn. But if this process are done in popcorn, sweet corn, quality protein mage, normal mage, uh, hybrid or composite then there will be no grain deployment and grain yield will be zero. Here in baby corn our objective is not grain yield, baby corn means small cobs, unfertilized ovules. So that's why detasseling is done in baby corn.
विच वन एडवर्सली अफेक्ट शुगर रिकवरी शुगर रिकवरी मीन्स शुक्रोज कंटेंट इज लेस तो विच कंडीशन फेवर्स पुअर सिंथेसिस ऑफ शुक्रोज सो हाई टेम्परेचर एट हाई टेम्परेचर शुक्रोज सिंथेसिस इज लेस एंजाइम एक्टिविटीज आर मोर एंड शुक्रोज इज ब्रेक डाउन इन टू ग्लूकोज एंड फ्रक्टोज इन्वर्टेज एंजाइम एक्टिविटी बिकम्स वेरी हाई एंजाइमेटिक रिएक्शंस आर देयर एंड शुक्रोज कंटेंट बिकम लेस एंड इन केस ऑफ शुगर केन मेन शुगर इज शुक्रोज सो एट दिस हाई टेम्परेचर दिस शुक्रोज इज ब्रेक डाउन इन टू ग्लूकोज एंड फ्रक्टोज so that's why sugar recovery become poor though glucose and fructose are there but sucrose is not there at high temperature and sugar is main sugar is sucrose so high temperature responsible low humidity cooler night favor the development of sucrose so here in the reason a location where temperature remain high sugar recovery is low so this was about the mock test based on crop production thank you very much